Hi everybody, Martin and Flick and Feathers again today and I'm tying Beaner's Baitfish. It's a Ward Bean fly, uh, Ward Bean that runs warm water fly tire. A good wee streamer for bass, um, although other fish will definitely eat them and they're well worth tying up. As always we'll put a materials list in the description along with a link to the Patreon page for anybody that wants to support the channel, get access to the members only content, monthly fly tying classes and be entered into the giveaways. Alternatively, hit the like button, watch the video all the way to the end, leave a comment, share, that all helps the channel. So I've got the hook my vice, this is a 3366 Mustad. This is a size 10, quite big. This is about as big as you would tie this. You can go down to a, probably a 4 or a 6. Um, and obviously you can adjust the colours to suit. I'm tying a sort of bluegill imitation here. So I'm just lashing on some medium bead chain, gold. It just adds a wee bit of weight. No too much. Right. I mean, you could you, you could tie them with uh, dumbbells, I suppose, if you wished. So I'm going to come back down the shank, back up, and then I'm going to repeat my figure eights through the eyes. Right. I I say this often in the videos. This is much much stronger than lashing them on once um, and then using super glue you just get so much more grip Oops. you know the thread the threads just get so much more grip on the shank that that really locks them in place they're not going anywhere so for the tail I'm using some grizzly soft hackle which is from a big soft hackle patch Chickaboo soft hackle patch. I'm getting four feathers and I'm going to just line up the tips. And I want them curving in, right? The, the They're not splayed, the the coming in together. Length, you want at least a hook length off the back, something like that. So just come back, see how they sit. Happy with that. And I've tied, I've left a wee bit of the fluff there where I was tying them in before I come down onto the bare stem. That, that just helps the thread to grip them and, and it helps stabilise them a wee bit when you tie them in. And then, to my way my waist. Tidy up slightly. So the shoulders, uh, I'm using yellow marabou. Just a wee, just to get a wee little accent of colour. Um, you know, sunfish. There's got to be marabou top and bottom. The shoulders are got to be smaller, shorter. You don't need just the same. I need more than that. And I'm using an extra select. I don't want to use a whole blood quill. I'm just stripping from the fibres of the extra select there. I'm just Nip that away. No come in. And I'll let this be slightly longer than the hackle fibres, right? So it's just what I mean by that is the first set of hackle fibres at the tail, I'll let this come up and stand slightly above so that it will be still visible after I wind the body. And I'll just tie that in place. Make 
sure it's on both sides nice and even and trim away the waste. up of that and then on the underside for a belly I'm going to use like a orange and I'm using a blood quill here because it's going to be a bit longer but what I like to do I'll come in and I'll pinch the middle of it just to take that stock away and I'll let that be a wee bit longer, maybe say coming like halfway, halfway back into that tail feather. Tie that in on the underside. And then we'll come back with it. There we go. Make sure it's even and then tidy up. And now the rest of the fly is just hackle, right? It's, it's pretty easy, pretty simple. Um, just a bit boring. Uh, <laughs> repetitive tying. So I've got a, it's a whiten uh, 4B that I've dyed. It's a grizzly I've dyed, it's a sort of turquoise, kingfisher blue, something like that will do. Got to grab a couple of good sized feathers. And I'll tie it in by the tip, first one. Fold it back. And then I'll punch that away. And I'm just going to wind this. Just fold it as you go. I'm not too worried about that cement being still wet. The hackle stem can kind of sink in if it needs to, if it wants to. Use up that whole hackle. Tie it off. Again, you're just, I mean, I'm just adding colour here, you could, if you want to, you could just use all, all olive all the way up now, um, but I like that wee bit of blue, probably doesn't make a huge difference to the fishability of the fly, but at this time of year, you know, in the summer when you're, when there are the bluegill, I've started breeding, and the males get dark, I mean, they all start to get that, the colours start to shine up a bit on them, but especially the males. That blue can be quite noticeable on them. So, switching to an olive here. Again, just get that in. different tight and you can just snap that away and then the next blue and then after this blue it's going to be olive all the way up that way. and you see I'm there I'm tying back I've got plenty of room to get this blue hackle in behind the bead chain. Again, when you've got enough in, tie it off, fold it back, a few wraps over to secure that. It's a very strong stem, so I'll just cut it. back to these 
grizzly olives. I'll probably need another two or three to get to the front. Let's see how we go. Got a few turns behind the dumbbells here. Uh, the bead chain, I should say. And then I'll just figure it right through. Sam in here. There we go. Again, tie it off. in place nice and secure and I don't mind if there's a you use some of that I've left some of the sort of fluffy marabou type fibers at the base of that hackle there that's fine you can include them it's just same again I suppose if you want it to, you could add another blue. But I think it's enough. And I'm just going to use all of this hackle. Sweep it back every turn. Tie that off. trim away the waist and anything going forward just sweep it back and take a few wraps over and I'm going to use one more Hold that tip back, it's so small that I'll just leave it, you don't see it. And I'm just going to wind this right up to the eye. Just make the wee triangle with your fingers and sweep it back as you go. When you come to the hook eye, Tie it off, just fold everything back, run my thread back, and tie back over these. And then I'll just take, I think that's my first one. I just like to judge the, just to make sure they all look the same in the box, um, make sure you've got the same length. Of, Head. Now, weed guard, again, if you're fishing for bass, you're in amongst some weed, usually. Um, I would usually use a nylon fork, um, but somebody was asking me about wire weed guards, so I'm going to show you one way um, to put a wire weed guard on. So I've got here some steel, stainless steel wire, so a springy wire, and it's 0 0.3, 0 0.3 of a millimetre, and I'm going to stick it up through the hook eye, and then tie it off. Right, I'm going to cover it just a wee bit long there. There. I'm 
it's got to wind nice and tight. Securing that, and then when I get to like halfway along the nose or halfway along the head of the fly, I fold it over and catch that on this side, down and back up, that looks okay. So I'll just come all the way back to the tie in and then. I'm going to tie a whip finish over the top, a long whip finish, right? Just use the knot. Go right down to the, the front there. I don't know how many turns that was. I didn't count them. Same again. So that's nice and strong. And then it's just a case of setting the length that you want. I like it to come, say maybe an eighth beyond the beyond the hook point, eighth of an inch, three mil, four mil, something like that, and then it'll just bend it. A wee kink in it. You set your angle that you're happy with, then I'll come and cut away my excess. And that there is a pretty good weed guard. I mean, that fly will come through sticks, it will come through grass. It can it can easily I mean the the vice is tapping it there but it, it easily moves out the way of the fish. It's, it's it's a good it's a good guard if you prefer wire if you want. I don't think it's I don't think it's more weed this than nylon but some people that's what they think and somebody was asking me about it so there you go. Anyway I hope that was useful for you. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to give me a thumbs up below and we'll see you for another video. Tell guys. Bye.